gives me a better idea of what they're actually seeing. Hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. Hi. YouTube on here. Hi, Eric. How are you? <laughs> there we are. It's live on YouTube. Yay. YouTube is cooperating today. Yay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, we had mute on what happened there. <laughs> uh, let's check the camera angle right here. Okay, I've got a bunch of shadows and weird things going on there. My lighting is a little a little strange today. It is? I don't know. I don't know. How's everybody doing? Jello Glennis. Hello, hello. How are you? Hey, Bonnie. Good to have you here. Hello, Toby. Good to see you. Hi, Linda. And Linda says, hi, Eric. Did you see that? Hi. I don't know if you're reading comments, Eric, but Linda said hi. <laughs> Linda said hi. <laughs> oh, all right. Who's going to make these along with us today? These are pretty fun, actually. These are... We didn't know what to call them. If you guys have a better name, throw it into chat. We called them folding pocket, folding circle pockets because they're made out of circles and they fold <laughs> and they're like little pockets. I mean, it's almost like a little box, but I don't know. What do you call them? Anybody have an, a better idea? A better name? There's Dana. Hi, Dana. You're you're playing along with us today. Hola. Good, good. Glennis is making them. Dana's making them. Toby, are you making with us today? Uh, friend in zombies. <laughs> is Eric your friend in zombies? Or who's, who's that, Glennis? <laughs> yep, that'd be Eric. That's Eric. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, Bonnie. That's awesome. Really do appreciate that. So yeah, if you think of a good name for these, um, let me know, and I'll I can always change it on there. The only thing we could think of is folding folding circle pockets. I so know. you make this out of four circles, and the bigger the circle, the easier it is. The only the biggest circle I have is a two and a half inch. So that's what I used for this. That's the biggest circle I have. You can cut them out of your Cricut or your Silhouette, or if you have a larger punch. Or if you um, took the, a, a lid or a jar and, you know, circled around it and then cut it out, um, you know, you could do that as well. So you can do it just like that. Or you can take a fifth circle and place it on the bottom. Doesn't really matter. I mean, if you want it there for stability or to put some decoration there, if you're not going to attach it however however you want to do it you can ink the edges like this one or you cannot ink the edges that also is up to you and i need to check my focus here let's see let's try that because we seemed a little bit blurry on youtube okay so I took a paper pack and took um, five pages out of the paper pack. And it was, I can't remember if it was um, six by six or eight by eight, but there's the five different pages. It's obviously shades of pink and rose. It's not, it, I guess it's pink, but they're really kind of a rosy, rosy color. And you can make it out of all the same, or you can mix and match. So this one, I took two of the plaid and two of whatever that one is and mixed them and matched them. Um, this one, I just did all of the same. It's a very pale pink. doesn't have much of anything on it. So you can mix and match or do them together. I have this one that I really like too. This is a good one for single-sided. The inside is white, but you can also do it with double-sided. And so this one is double-sided paper. It's cardstock. And I will use this one and put every other one the other way. And so it looks like I've mixed and matched two pieces of coordinating, coordinating paper. There still seems to be a glare on there, doesn't there? Let's see. I'll turn that right off if I need to. I'll just um, 
I'm looking at YouTube and it's like I can't even see the color because of the glare. Is that better? I can see it. We can see and it. And I'm not liking this one. So let me get rid of that guy there. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you have double-sided paper, you can turn it over. It looks like you've mixed, mixed and matched too. And on the inside, as well as on the outside, you'll have both colors there. So, and then after I cut all the circles out, I had all these, you know, papers with giant circles cut out. I just took whatever was left on the page and cut whatever strips I could. I mean, some of them were teeny tiny thin strips, but I still cut the strips and I was able to get four journal cards out of um, just the scraps that were left over from cutting those out of two eight, or the eight by eight pages. And then I just threw the rest of it away. So I have no mess, I have no leftover. I didn't have to add to the scrap bin and I've got journal cards ready to go. So I could take a journal card and one of these and it can go in a, in a journal. And so there's something that coordinates, you know, do four of those and there you go. <clears throat> Instant decor. Awesome, Toby. Glad that you're going to try. And I see that Christy came in. Hello, Christy. Happy to see you. Jello to all. <laughs> okay, so we want to start out by cutting some circles. And I'm going to grab this piece of paper here. Maybe. I was going to use that for something else. Let me see. If, how Hi, many... Christy. Um, we have one of that one. Hmm. Have a pretty one. It's kind of dark on that side. Use any paper that you want. Um, actually, I'll cut some of that and I'll cut some of this. I think this would coordinate. There's some scraps there that would coordinate nicely every other one. So I'm going to use my two and a half inch punch because that's the largest that I have. Um, if I had my silhouette out hooked up, then I could probably cut some larger ones. But um, you can use smaller ones too. But I would, if you've never made them before, I would start with as large a one as you have a punch or can make a circle. Um, because the smaller you go, the more difficult they are to deal with, to put together. They're a little fiddly sometimes, and the smaller they are, the more fiddly they are. I'm one of those people that tries to use up every little tiny bit of paper, and I go as close to the edge as I can when I'm cutting like this. And if I go as close to each other, well, I got a little far there, but if I go as close to each other as possible, I usually end up with a strip over here that's good because I can use that to make the journal cards. And even this right here will make a nice thin strip to use in there. These little triangles, I always keep these because these are perfect for corners, the corners of the journal tag, the start and the, the finish of right here, the start and the finish of the journal tag. Those little um, triangles are perfect for that. So it just keeps me from having to have one more strip. Okay, and so now I'm gonna cut some of these to go with it. You can with... use either scrapbook paper or cardstock. Yeah, either one, either one works. One Christy, you just don't want it to be too, too heavy. It has to be, if, not if too heavy and not too thin. Hold it, you can use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want it to be super heavy and just crack and you don't want it to be um, super thin and just tear. Yeah. So just kind of, you know, something that's in the middle, the thicker scrapbook paper or the lighter cardstock would be my choices. All right. So I'm going to stop right there. I've got four of each and I will mix and match them. So I'll do two and two. I've got an extra one. I got five of those. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to use a scoreboard if you don't want to, but you can use a scoreboard. And I want to use my mini one. And I think I just covered it with 
stuff. It was right here. Where did I set my mini scoreboard? Laura says you need to start using uglier papers, Marianne. <laughs> I need to use, uh, well, uglier papers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have had these papers for so long, I can't even tell you what brand they are or where I got them. I've literally had them for years. So please don't ask because I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. And you will need four circles of the same size to make one of the pockets. Yep. Four circles. Yeah. Four circles of the same size. I need to turn my volume up so I can hear you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Can everybody else hear me? I can hear you. I just had my volume way down. I can hear, we can hear you. Cool. Um, I hate this bringing up this great big one, but I just had the little one when I was making samples last night, and I'm not sure where I said it. See what, what I get for not putting it back where it actually lives. Okay, so because I don't fold very well, very straight, I don't cut very well without a trimmer, um, I'm just going to use the um scoreboard to score these in half mine are two and a half inches that means one and a quarter inch is going to be my halfway mark so i'm just going to score them all one and a quarter and then they're ready to go you don't have to score them you can just fold them in half So scoring everything at one and a half. So uh, how many of you went back to watch the sale, the last sale to catch the parts that you missed and it's not there? <laughs> it's two minutes and 15 seconds long. Oh, I don't, that was the day that YouTube was acting up. Some people couldn't even get in and see it. Uh, it took us 10 minutes to get, YouTube to even go live. Uh, we have no idea what was happening with YouTube. But um, yeah, I have no idea where that sale went. What two minutes is it? Is it a good two? Is it a good the two minutes? Very beginning. <laughs> the very beginning, no. <laughs> was it the two minutes we thought we were live that we weren't live? Yeah, exactly. Hey, Laura. I didn't get to say hello, hello to Laura. <laughs> um, where's Margie? I wonder if she's having internet problems. Okay, so here is, I'm, I'm just going to fold them all in half. Don't have to crease them super hard. Just I'm just going to fold them just so they have a fold. So I know where that score mark is. All right. And then you want to get your adhesive, your glue, wet glue. This is not something I would use um, double-sided tape on. I suppose you could. It would just be way more difficult. Yeah, you got to be really good putting these circles together and holding them in. <laughs> way more difficult to do. Okay, so these are single-sided. I kind of like the double-sided because I like this having something on the inside that I can see. Um, design. There's four. Okay. Yeah, draw on the inside. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I could do that. Okay. So, here is my glue ready to go. And I had to stick a pin in it. Let me make sure it's, yeah, it's still a little stuck, but it'll come out. Okay. So, I'm going to take these four um, circles folded in half, and I'm going to put them together in a square. Now, here's maybe an easy way. So I, I need them folded because I need to know how far up they go because these two corners, these two ends, edges, the two edges, points there, whatever you want to call them, uh, are coming together. They need to come together. They need to not overlap, but they need to come together. And then what, that one's that. So this one goes here. And then this one, the fold edge, the point, is coming to the edge of that one, but I want every other one to be overlapping, so I need that one to be underneath. Sure. Let me get those two edges together. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth one, this folded cool. that way, okay. it will go over this one and under this one. So you can see every one overlaps the one next to it. So it's under one and over one. Now let me get this corner here 
aligned with that corner there. Okay, so now the four are together and you can see how it folds down on top. Okay, so when you put it together though, you wanna turn it over to the other side. Well, you don't have to. I think it's easier to see this way. So I'll stick with this way because I think it's easier for people to see. Let me go back to back to what I just did here. You gotta do both sides. Okay. And this one goes under this one and over that one. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is stick and you want it that you want them all to come together tight so you don't have a hole in the middle. And if you have the four points coming together, they can't overlap each other or it won't fold down. Each one of them needs to fold down. Now it's it's you're kind of you're trying to hold them. This is the fiddly part. You're trying to hold them together and you're gonna to try to glue them and then they keep moving. Don't worry about it too much. But here's what I would suggest. Hold it in place and then take your glue and stick it underneath and just put a little bit, just enough to hold it together there. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it and we're going to do the same thing. I'm not gluing the whole thing. I'll go back and do that. I just want enough in there to hold it to the next one. So I can even move them around a little if I need to, to make sure that they're perfectly lined up. Okay, go to the next one. That one's moving already, so I just need a little there. And I can line. I'm just lining the corners. Those two corners, these two corners. Like that? I'm just making sure that they don't overlap. Otherwise, they won't be able to fold. And then I go to the fourth one. I hope some came out there. Yeah. You no, but make sure you have one in, one out. One, you got. Yeah. Oops. That's way too far. Okay. So when you put them down, you're just making sure that each one is overlapping the one on uh, to, uh, next to it. So I make them overlap. It, it doesn't matter to the left or to the right. And then it's easy to see. Does this one overlap that one? Does that one overlap that one? Does that one overlap that one? If it does, then you're you're right, and you end up with your pinwheel um, design there. Okay, so now I can look at it, and I can fold all these in. Make sure that they will all fold in. That ah. one's a little tight, so I need to adjust it just a hair. What you if they will all look, you can also you can also go like this, and you have a nice pocket. There's a pocket, you know, or an envelope that you could use. Just another thing you can do with these. But make sure they all fold down. And if they all fold down, then you know that they're lined up okay. So then I will go back to the other side where I barely put any glue in there. And now I'm going to go in and put enough glue to hold it down permanently. And a little to the edge. Or you can open them up and do them from the inside that way too. You can or, glue them yes, inside. you can. Either way. Yeah. You're either lifting it up from the from the inside or you're lifting it up from the bottom. Whichever way is easier for you. Okay. So once I've got glue in those four, I can see my pinwheel here too. And that's the bottom. When I turn it over, they all fold it down. I open it up. There's my pinwheel here that I can see. So now they're all overlapping. And so now when you fold it, when you close it, you put one down, you put the next one down, you put the next one down, and then the last one, you're going to put it over and underneath the first one. And when it's underneath the first one, then it's closed in a pinwheel fashion. And this one you put them together where their folds are. Four circles, Dana. Four circles. Ah. You know, I put them, put them like that. So they're, so and they're like yeah, Margie says you can make a two and a half inch square and then glue it onto the square. You could take a, you could take a fifth circle if you want and put the fifth circle on the bottom, glue them onto that. Um, but you could, you could, you could make a square and then glue them down to the square Ooh, as you go. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yay. You got it. 
<laughs> you got to get it right. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> you guys, yeah. that's so much. I've never made one, but you did. Oh, that's very cool. I'm glad that you got that. All right, you got it together. You got it. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Okay. It is. Um, okay. This you can also with four circles make no, no, just no. super cute envelopes. You can do it that way, or put that one inside. I like to have that one outside because sometimes if you slide something in, it gets caught on it. But that makes a super cute uh, little envelope too. Yeah, I'll do it real quick. Now you do it. Everybody get that? Hey, Margie, Margie, how are you? Okay, so let's set that over there. And I'm going to take the other four that I just did with, with these. The only thing you really have to decide is that like, this paper is pretty much all the same. But this one might have some more color on one than the other. Decide which one you want to be the flap and which one's going to be the bottom. Yeah. And then you can also make a tab to hold these too. Wait, what? I'm going to make you big. Are you ready? Let me I was going to find it. Like oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Putting it in the book? Yeah. To, to put them in. If you don't want to glue it down, like the one I used, I glued it down. Then I had it opened up and had a picture of Eric in there for his mom's journal. That Cute. I but but if we you, made. Yeah, we. we I'm sorry. <laughs> or you can make a little band to stick them in. It's like a belly band, a mini belly band just to go with this. Yeah, and it's just a scrap piece of paper just wrapped around and Same glued right it. Here. Yep. Same right here. Perfect. Just wrap it around it and glue it together so you've got the perfect size and then glue it down to the page. Yeah, this is an origami one. <gasps> origami? <laughs> origami. <laughs> Origrammy. <laughs> Origami. That is so cool. That is very cool. <laughs> I want to make one. That's very cool. So yeah, a lot of things you can do with them. You can tuck them in a, a tuck spot and pull them out, or you can glue them down. Whatever. Oh yeah, you okay. can make more than one. Day. <laughs> oh, Dana, it's mass make day. So we learn we make one thing and then we mass make it. So you can make ten or twenty of them or however many. So then you can um, use them in different journals or uh, projects you're doing. Okay, Toby, have you got circles cut out? Have you got four circles that you're ready to use for it your pocket? Like yep, you got yours. That was yours. Yeah. That's the one you did. Why is it like that? Oh, I'm letting the glue dry. I got a little... Actually, you can make there. these out of different sizes too. I pulled out a smaller one. This is a one and a half. I might try like a bit like this. the little ones are they're yeah. a little bit more thin. yeah, they're a little harder to hold on to. <laughs> yeah, they are harder to hold on. Yeah, and they're um, harder to fold. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know what's funny is um, last night I remembered that I have a punch that punches this out. It punches out like the square in the middle and the, the rounds coming out, the circles coming out of it. And then oh, you just really? put them in. Yeah. I totally oh. forgot about that. I need that. It's, and it's small. It's a teeny tiny one. Okay. So, Toby, you have your four and they are folded. I'm going to do it with you. We're going to do it step by step. Let me just get these here. Okay. So... Let's take, I'm going to use the blue one. No, I'm going to use this one because the white other side is easier to see. Okay, let's take two of the pieces, Toby, that are going to go side by side. And we're just going to deal with two of them. One in your left hand, one in your right hand. And you're going to put your finger on the fold so that they're folded together and bring them together so that this and the point of this fold and the point of this fold meet. Okay. I don't want them to overlap. I just want those two points to come together because if they overlap, 
this won't be able to fold down and then this one fold down. One of them will get stuck. So better to have a tiny bit of space there than to have them overlap. No, so bring those two together. And, how about and then grab your glue and put just a teeny tiny drop of glue in there. Just enough to hold those two pieces together. And then when you look at them, just try to try to see if it, you know if they're perpendicular to each other. If you have your if you have a your bone your um, scoreboard, you could even put them in the corner of the scoreboard like this, and then you know that they're square. I know that they're square if I do like that. Okay, so that's the first two pieces down. Then grab the third piece. Let me. I'm gonna wait, Kobe. You tell me when you've got these two, because I know you have to use your hands for this. And then comment in chat. So, Margie, great minds. <laughs> I just saw that. So, um, Toby, do you tell me when you've got these first two pieces glued together like that? That's funny, Margie. <laughs> anything square. You could line them up in, in anything square like that. Okay, Toby got it. Okay, so grab your third piece that's now going to go on the other side. So if you look at these two, um, hopefully your left one is over the top of the right, the right one. So we'll call this one number one is over the top of number two. Okay, you might have. Now number two is going to be over the top of number three. So this one goes, every one that you add on goes underneath the next one. So now I'm going to fold it so I can see the point of this one and fold so I can see the point of this one. And those two points are going to come together, but not overlap because I need to be able to fold this one and be able to fold this one. So we want them to come together, but not overlap. Okay. And I will hold that get my glue and just put, I'm just putting a dot of glue in here. Not very much, just a dot to hold it together. Whoops. Not a very big dot, apparently. Maybe not even a dot. This one has had some problems being clogged. Okay. Whoops. Now I need to adjust it a bit because it got a little off there. All right, and now I can fold those two down just like I did the first two, and I can line those up on the scoreboard or anything else square and know that they are squared. This is probably the easiest way if you have a scoreboard to use. The easiest way is to do them one piece at a time and know that they're squared. The only reason that you need to do all four at the same time is because you have to make sure that they're squared. But if you've got a way to square up each corner, then um, you don't have to do that. Okay, Toby, tell me when you've got that one. So we've got one that overlaps two, two that overlaps three. Maybe after this, I'll grab my punch and show you my punch. Okay, I'm waiting for Toby to tell me that you're to this point. One, two, and three. Okay, now we're gonna take the fourth one. And the fourth one, one went over two, two went over top of three, now three is going to go over top of four. So slide it underneath four. But four needs to go over one. So make sure that it goes under number three that we just did, but over the top of number one. And then when you look at it, you should be able to see this pinwheel design in here. It's not showing very well. Okay, so each circle went underneath the circle before it. Okay. 
All right. So I'm lining this one up. So those two points are at as close as possible, but not overlapping. I don't want them to overlap. And then by doing that, these two over here, our last two, should be close, but not overlapping. And I can double check by folding them down, slide it in as tight as I can, and then hold it together while I open it back up. And then I can take the glue and put it underneath this one, just a tiny bit to hold it together. And I can come to this to the square here and make sure that it's square. But this being the last one, I can now fold all of them down on top of it and make sure that they all fold. If they all fold, then you know you're good. And if you can turn it over and you can see the pinwheel design there from overlapping each one over the one before it. And then you can see there's no hole in the center because you got them nice and close by matching up your corners. Once you've got that on, then I think the easiest way is to keep it closed like this and, because it gives you more to hang on and it gives it more stability. And then take your glue and go underneath each one of these flaps and we're just going to put more glue. I put it along the flap itself. Oh, this, I've got to unclog this uh, kind of close to the edge so that the whole thing will stay down and then do all four all four like that. And glue them down, wipe off any excess. Okay. like that. Okay, Toby, no, let me know when you've got the fourth one all down like that. And so now they're all together. I can see the pinwheel on the back, on the bottom. You can see the pinwheel inside too. If I come inside and there's any part that's sticking up or is loose because it didn't get glue, I can add a little bit of glue there. There's some right there. Sometimes from the other side, don't know exactly how far to glue and don't want to get glue inside all over and have it all stuck together. But it's always easy. You can always add more. You just can't take it away so easily. So try to err on the side of a little bit too little and then add more if needed. Okay. Okay, so Toby, tell me when you've got those four together. Oh, I got a fly buzzing around my head. Driving me crazy. How you doing, Toby? You got that? I'm going to go grab that punch real quick. It's right on the hanging in the pouch. Okay, Toby got it. Okay, so now when you turn it right side up, because you've already folded it or scored it, that you needed those guidelines to match your corners, but now it's real easy. Fold one down, fold the second one on top of it, fold the third one on top of that, and the fourth one goes on top of that, but it goes underneath number one, just like when you glued them. 
So it's going to go over number three, underneath number one, and there's your pocket. It could be a pinwheel pocket because that, you know, that's the pinwheel design. It may be better than a folding circle pocket. So we can oh, work. Sorry, I, I forgot I muted myself. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I like it. Pinwheel pocket. I All can't. right. That one's not coming. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Because oh, yeah. you, because you're a wimp. You can't. You don't. You don't have enough strength to do the. You know what it is. You don't have enough luck to put into it. Margie, have the same one. So yeah. So this one, you punch it out and you just score these four lines. Four marks. And it's a teeny tiny one. It's like one inch. But I'm going to try, let's see, I've got this one and a half inch. I'm going to, even the two and a half inch ones, by the time you fold it all up, that's a, just a tiny two and a half inch pocket. You know, that's really small and cute and perfect. But if I make it a mini book like this, that would be too big to put in it. So I would need to do a, even a tiny, tinier one in there. So I'm going to try this one and a half. Yeah. I've made, let's see. Yeah, and it's thicker paper. Too, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you keep smacking your foot? Yeah, on the chair. I hate when that happens. I smack my knee. <laughs> Maybe if he had a brain. I do. <laughs> He's got a good brain. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's a questionable on some days. <laughs> okay, so these are one and a half inch. Well, was questionable, questionable today. Yeah. Questionable today? Yeah, Mark <laughs> took you swimming. Oh, so one and a half inch, half of that is three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to score these at three quarters. No, you thought it was two. Oh, I, you not, it was two. I thought the lie was at two. <laughs> did you not? Oh, did you not get much sleep last night? Oh, at two. Yeah. And it's three year time. Well, yeah. Gwyneth thought it was at one, my time. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody was off today. Okay. Well, she scheduled it, so I'm, I'm hoping she's not off. <laughs> so she's been known to be off. <laughs> yeah, I schedule it, and then I'm off with my own schedule. Nope, I was on. I was right. <laughs> uh, yes, mini rocks. <laughs> yes, I, I once bought the second of July was the third. Oh, Linda, you do have to make a mini book. We should make mini books on Saturday Night Live. Okay, I'm going to make that one the top and that one the top. That's interesting. These are all the same. Okay, so here we go with the teeny. This is a one and a half inch. I even got smaller circle punches I might pull out. Pull out. They're right here. I started keeping all these little circle punches at my desk because I use them all the time. And I don't have to jump up and go get them all the time. Doing it in the corner of this scoreboard makes it super easy to just square up those first two. And then the second two. <laughs> I'm really liking using that. Because you don't have to hold all of them together at the same time to make sure that they're right. Linda says she's not so live after 8 p.m. <laughs> I'm not so live after I wake yeah. up. That's funny. <laughs> I have to sleep after I wake up. Yes, you have to sleep after you wake up. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. Someday. That's no fun. Then you miss out on the, uh, the day. It's usually a school day. Oh. Okay, so you like missing out on the day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Except I like learning. I like learning new stuff. And 
All I like is reading. I hate math. So, oh, I love reading. Yeah. You're not that bad. Huh? So if you don't go to school, then you don't get to learn the new stuff. I don't know division. Oh, that's a harder one. Yeah. It is complication backwards. Yeah. It just takes practice. Like, I don't know at all. It just yeah. takes some practice. You'll get it. But you know, you, math is good to learn because you learn, you use a lot of math in these crafting things. Because you have to figure out the different in, um, percentages and inches and things like that. And so it's a whole lot easier to do art and crafty things um, if you know math. So definitely learn it. What Albert Einstein didn't know math at all. He was very bad. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. He, think how much but better. But, it's been, but but no one cared. Yeah, well, think how much better he would have been if he did know math. Is it math or science? Math is for everything. You know, you know, if you um <laughs> well, math can be for reading. Okay, so if I ask you how long does it take you to read a page and you read a page in the book and you tell me how long it takes. I don't know. How long does it take to read a page? What do you think? For me? Yeah. Uh, Maybe 10 minutes? No. No. <laughs> Five minutes? Seconds. How about two minutes? <laughs> okay. So let's say it takes two minutes to read a page in the book. How many pages does the book have? One. No. <laughs> well, let's say the book has a hundred pages. Yeah, that last book you read had a hundred pages in it. Okay, so if the book has a hundred pages, I and it takes you, and it takes you two minutes. They aren't really reading books. No, mm -hmm. the Diary of a Wimpy Kid or whatever that was. A, oh yeah, you, those are reading books. You read okay. that one? That had a so, hundred some pages in it. Eric, let's say your book has a hundred pages. Okay. Are you it, with me? It takes me a okay. few seconds and it feels like listen to it her. Takes me like, <laughs> Eric. If you Eric. Are, he's not listening. I'm can trying I to talk to you. Box his ears. Can I box his ears? <laughs> Hi, KK. Yeah. I'm trying to talk to you, Eric. If you want to be able to buy something, you need to know math. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eric, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to tell you something. I know money. <laughs> then you know I'm math. Not, I'm not talking money. Hey, are you with me? You just read a book that had a hundred pages, right? You yep. just read a book that had a hundred pages. Yep. Is that is that right? Because they have some blank pages. It had one hundred ten pages that you Let's read. Say it had one hundred pages. Let's say it had a hundred. Okay, hundred pages, and it takes you. Let's say it takes you two minutes to read a page. Take me two minutes. Don't quit arguing. It just takes you about two minutes to read a page and look at the picture. <laughs> two minutes is, is not very long, Eric. That is super fast. He's very fast. He read that. I, I read it in like an hour. A little over an okay. hour and a half. Okay. All right. So um, listen, if it takes two minutes to read a page and there's a hundred pages in the book, how long is it going to take you to read the whole book? 200 minutes. Two. Two minutes times 100 pages, 200 minutes, right? Perfect. Okay. Now, two, how many minutes is there in an hour? 60. Okay. So 200 minutes is longer than an hour. So how many hours is 200 minutes then? How, instead of saying 200 minutes and you wanted to tell somebody it's going to take this many hours, how do you figure out how many hours it would take? 200 minutes. It would take 100 hours. No. No. It's 200 minutes. Know. Hey. That's, I'm helping you. I want you to see how you can use it in your everyday life. This Even in reading. Division comes in. Yeah. So now we do. Now we go backwards with division. So you take 200 minutes. And if we know there's 60 minutes in an hour, if we divide 200 by 60, then we know exactly how many hours it takes to read it instead of saying 200 minutes. Right? So 200 minutes divided by 60 is what? One. No. Okay. 200 one. divided by 200 would be one. 200 divided by 60. And that's this is where you'd have to get out a pencil and paper 
and do it on paper, but it's three and th three and a third hours. So if you had a great big book that had big pages and was full of words and you knew you could I read a page. <laughs> if you could read a page in two minutes, you could tell somebody I can read that entire book in three hours and three and one third hours. And they would look at you and say, whoa, no way. But you know it's true yeah, because you I know. More like yeah, you read it faster. You read it yeah. faster. You yeah, it all depends faster. on the book. I'm just saying it and like maybe one of those encyclopedias. Good. <laughs> encyclopedias, I go to my, some of the cool pages. Yeah, they do have some cool pages. I go to the cool I look really, 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 go to yeah. the pages okay. and read them. <laughs> so, you know what? <laughs> when granny's making some stuff um, with the crafting and she pulls out the scoreboard and she says, okay, we need to score this at three inches and at four and five eighths inches and then at seven and five eighths inches. If you don't know math, you don't know what five eighths inches is, where to score it to make your, make your project. That's why I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's why we learn math because it lets us do fun stuff, right? It's not because oh, you know, yeah, you don't have to be a scientist. We don't have to be a scientist. We like it because it helps us do fun stuff, the stuff we want to do. I, I want to be a scientist. <laughs> do you, oh, then you really need to learn math. Astronaut or marine biologist or oh, no. one of the, oh, the sharks. Yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> a shark photographer. <laughs> no, you're thinking a cartographer, and that's a map person. Oh, oh I think a shark photographer would be cool. <laughs> yeah, to take pictures of sharks. Yeah, of sharks. We'll make up our own names. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I don't want to be doing that because I'll be taking a picture and then another one come up and eat me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's funny. Like you'll be in it. You'll be in the shark cage. Yeah. Out in be the open. I was gonna say, be better <laughs> not in the cage. You'll get bit if you're out at the cage. No, you don't. They don't always get bit. You learn yeah, that. so um, see, people, the people are saying in the chat if you can read chat, I, you know, if you don't have, learn how to read and how to do math, you're pretty much stuck in life. But they're saying, yeah, to be able to buy stuff, you can go to a store and they can tell you it's so much money. Okay, so we went to we went to a drive through a burger place the other day, Eric, and we had okay. I know burgers and shakes, and we stopped at the thing and we told him what we wanted, and then we said we have your coupon for this and for this, and they said okay, we'll give you your total at the window. So while we're waiting, I quickly added up how much everything should be. And when we got up to the window, they said, that's $28. And I said, whoa, nope, it's not right. That is not right. It shouldn't be that much. It should be no more than X amount. And so I actually had to tell them how to do the math and what to put in to get the right price on them. But if I didn't know how to do that, then when I went up there and they just said it's $28 and I gave them $28 and it's really only supposed to be like 17, I'd have lost $10. What do you think? So I don't know. $11. Yeah. Really good to um, no math. It's really helpful to no math. No, it's not. <laughs> yes. <it is. laughs> now, well, you're you're now you're just being obstinate. <laughs> you look in the mirror. It means you. <laughs> what does obstinate mean, Eric? <laughs> oh man. No. It means you're being stubborn. It means you're being stubborn and just trying to be argumentative. You're not listening. What stubborn means? You know what it means. You know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, he is. Oh, he's made six already this morning. What? Oh, let's see what Glennis has made. Bonnie's already made six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got ten here. Nice, Eric. How many have you made? None. He's been he's been irritating me. 
You quit cutting out circles, man. I'm th I'm I'm like this. Oh, that's like that's like that's like that's like that's like that's like that's Oh, cool. Love the paper you used. Oh, that's pretty. Those are pretty. Yeah, it's brown and the polka dots are pink and blue and green. Those are really pretty. I like that paper. Okay, what, what circles do you need? And look at this. Glennis did it scalloped. Look down there. Yeah, I thought about that, but my scallop is not big enough. Her scallop is two inches. The, I think I have a two inch scallop. That's pretty. Maybe I'll try a scallop. I think uh, Linda says, I think Eric already knows math. He just he does. doesn't he just, realize he, it. He does not like division. That's he the one thing he's having like he doesn't. more trouble with it. He's yeah, having more trouble, trouble with the division. Yeah. Division's the hardest. No, it's not. You just, you're just making it hard. Yeah. You just have to decide, you know what? I'm going to know division and I'm going to make it easy. And then you tell your brain that because your brain will try to tell you it's hard. And if you tell your brain, no, it's easy. I just need to do it a few times. You'll get it. You're making sense right now. It is. Yeah. Brain controls everything. Yep, but you know who controls your brain? Your brain. You. You actually can. You know, you actually can control your brain. You know that paper that you're cutting right now? Uh huh. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't think this is two inches. I think this is an inch and a half. Does it say somewhere on here? It doesn't. I think it's probably an, uh, an inch and three quarters. All right. An inch and three quarters. All right. Wow. Okay. Eric was swimming today without floaties and he swam the length of the pool just about. Wow. That's pretty cool. Pool's only two feet. Yeah, it's got a deep end. Yeah, you were, you were jumping off the deep Oh, uh, yeah, but it's got, it's big enough. Yeah, the, the deep end's deep. Yeah. Oh. Now we just got to we do got we got to teach him how to float on his back. Oh, cool! He freaks out. Yes, yeah. he can float on his belly, but he can't float on his back. Yeah. He freaks out. That's understandable. I can do the dead man's float. Yeah. Well, if you can do the dead man's float, you can save yourself. You can save your life if you have to. And here's the thing: if you learn to float on your back. You, you can, can save your it. life if you had to, because you could float forever until somebody came to rescue you. Yep. You wouldn't have to worry about breathing because you're just laying on your back, looking at the sky, breathing air. Well, that's when you tread water, but you can lay on your back to rest. Yeah. When you tread water, you just, you get tired. So no, you know, not, if you, not if you do it right. Water. I can tread yeah. water for like four hours at least. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. How I'm. I've, water? That's impressive. Water. That's, I mean, I just, I've been in the pool for over four hours at a time. Treading water. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. So, yeah. It's just how you do it. You got to learn how to relax and do it and not fight. Oh, it. Yeah. Not make it such work. Yes. You don't want to know why I learned how to tread water? So I get away from your poppy when we would go swimming. We were dating because he bugged the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> and all of his friends. And none of them could swim in there for four hours. So you could go out there by yourself. Yep. <laughs> Yep. And then it never failed. The the raft would get a hole in it and you'd be like, oh. oh. <laughs> so I learned how to, I, I knew how to tread water. I just learned how to do it better. Yeah. To do it for a long time. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How long do you think I'll be able to tread water? Mm, it takes a while for you to learn. Once you learn how to do it, you'll be able to do it, baby. If you listen to me, but you don't listen. Yes, I do. Yeah. Bonnie, send me a Send me a picture of yours, if you'd like. We can show it. Sure. Uh, Dana did hers in two and, is that three-eighths scallops? But struggled with the corners. The, yeah. the corners are more difficult in with the scallop. They definitely are. And I forgot to pay attention to where I was. Because you can scallop, I mean, you can... You can score it yeah. in the middle of a scallop, or you can score it between two scallops. 
and that will make a difference as to how your corners come together. All right, this one's gonna be quite a bit smaller, but I think it'll work. Let's see. I thought my scallop was bigger than that, but it's not. It's only it's an, an quarters. It's like this. It has waves around the edges. Little bumps around the edges instead of being flat. <laughs> Linda made one, and now she's making dinner. <laughs> That's good. I'm hungry, Linda. That sounds really good. <laughs> We're going to order pizza tonight. Oh, sweet. Since he did so well in the pool today. Nice. Poppy said he'd buy pizza. Aw. And he'll get in the water tomorrow. Yep, and he'll get in it. Poppy will actually get in the water tomorrow, huh? Nice. Yeah, he, he will. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll jump in the deep end. Nice. How deep is the pool, Candy? Um, for, uh, It's at least nine foot it's between is there nine a diving board no there's no diving board okay he won't i'm trying to get him to learn how to do a backflip off the side but he won't oh wow I, oh. I, i'm diving in all right yeah, would be impressive. Dive you're diving right in now. already we're teaching wow. him, to him to get his head yeah. down well to get his arms in first and then his head yep. not his arms and his butt yeah <laughs> just his arms and then his butt goes in somehow yeah, if you yeah. <laughs> He, ar he arches. Yep. Yeah. So. So I basically have my hands in, turn uh -huh. around. And then they put their hands in and then they jump in. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, it took a bit to get him where he was more comfortable without, where he, just putting his face in the water, he didn't like to do that. I don't like to do that. I always had a problem with that. He's gotten used to it now where he can hold his breath. He he tell him to hold his breath, he put his he'd put it in there and be like one, you know, hold uh -huh. your breath and count to five. And yeah. I'd be like, You didn't count to five, you went one five. <laughs> um, when I was a kid and I went to the um summer school, I went to you know the community park and took swim lessons. And um and and I yeah, I'm not I wasn't crazy about you know, getting my face underwater. And um, we came to the point in the swim lessons where they said, okay, there's two pools. There's the, you know, the shallow pool that you learn in. And then there's the deep pool where the diving boards are. And there's the short diving board. And then there's the tall diving board that's way up there. And so they said, okay, tomorrow we're going to go to the diving board and we'll all jump off the diving board into the deep end, which was 12 feet. Yeah. I was so scared. I was so scared of that 12 foot, you know, pool because I, I knew I wouldn't be able to, I wasn't a strong swimmer. I didn't feel like I was a strong swimmer and I knew I wouldn't be able to stand up in it. And I was just scared to death of jumping off the diving board. Um, and then they said, and it will jump off the, the short diving board. And then if anybody wants to, you can jump off the high diving board. I was so scared. I didn't sleep all night long. And I went the next day to swim lessons and we went and jumped off the short diving board. And then they said, okay, who wants to jump off the high diving board? Go ahead and, you know, climb up the ladder to the high diving board. And I walked over there and climbed up the freaking ladder. I don't know what I was thinking. I was <laughs> so scared of the short one. And then I went and, and jumped off the high one. But, you know, oh, probably yeah. a good thing I did because I won't now. <laughs> You're lucky. My... I was doggy paddling barely, and I'm, then they threw me in. Oh my goodness! Into the deep end, and I'm oh. not talking threw you in where you could catch the edge. Right? No, <laughs> right out there where you got to get yourself back to shore. <laughs> I had to get back to the side. I was like, oh, oh man, freaking scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> yeah, that is scary. I so, got her up there. You guys that made the scallop ones, did you find that you had a hole in the center? Because of your scallop? I think it's because my um, crease, my fold, is on a scallop, 
which makes it slightly larger. I think if I had turned them all a hair and creased it between scallops, it would fit closer together and I don't think there would be a hole. Doesn't bother me, it's actually kind of cute. <laughs> but um, I think that that's, if, if, you're, if you're doing a scallop and you want, don't want a hole, I think if you crease it between two scallops, that's gonna be the key to um, getting that closed. That was a good idea, Glennis. I like the scallop ones. Those are cute. Oh, goodness. Let's see. I should... I'm going to look in this container here and see if um, I have anything in here that I can make one out of for a particular book. That's what I need to do. Uh, Dana, I think I'll try scoring it in the, oh, <laughs> scoring it in the middle of a scallop instead. Oh, in between scallops and see if that works better. I used to have that little Stampin' Up punch that made this, but it was super tiny. It is tiny. It, it is, um, it is tiny. Let's, uh, All right. Oh, I didn't get that punched all the way out. The two ends are still attached. So let me see if I can snippity snip them. It is, it is very tiny. The whole thing I don't think is even two inches. I got 11 made. Wow. Oh, 12. I'm sorry. I forgot my little tiny one. <laughs> Don't forget the teeny tiny guys. Oh, 13. I got 13 made. Uh, so then when you line it up here, then you have to make sure that it is perfectly straight or your score mark won't be straight. That's the hardest part. I don't think I even scored it. I haven't made this use that in a long time, but I don't think I even scored it. I think I just folded it at each point. Since it's already together, it was easy enough to fold. The ones we're doing, that we're having to put them together with the circles so they're not already attached. Scoring it makes it easier to line them up. So there it is. Okay, so overlap each one, get the last one on. And there's a team that's probably one inch. Yeah, it's just a hair, a hair over an inch. So that there's a teeny tiny inch one. Inchy, twinchy. Glenish, you had that same thing with the, the hole in the center of the scallop one. Okay, let me see if I can find something in here to make one. <laughs> I need to get this journal done. So I'm... Hmm. Money, could make one out of money. <laughs> Why? No. Let's see. All right. Let's see if I can punch some holes with this. I wonder if this is big enough. Probably not. Just barely not. This side is. Um, mm, 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 mm. Here's an inch and three eighths. Maybe I'll do that. Um, 
I'd sure like it to be. Hi, honey. Oh, that doesn't cut very well. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Got moved to September. Oh, somebody other couldn't people, make it. Other people didn't make it. Yeah. It's probably brainstorming of how we're going to handle this. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Right. Well, I understand that. Okay. But I didn't think it was that anyway, so. Well, that part of it might be that. But if it moved, I don't know. Yeah. What do you do? Okay. Thank you. Toby just got a birthday package. Oh, nice. From somebody in the group. Thank you. Ah, very cool. Is it a surprise or did it put who it's from? You don't have to tell us, but just um, I'm just curious. Do you know or was this is a surprise for you? All right. What did I put? <laughs> You grab a stick. That is very cool, Toby. What a nice happy birthday. Okay. Good. Yeah. Trim this down a bit. You really need a two inch punch. That's what I need. I need a four incher. Okay. Or three and a half. I think three and a half would be big enough for me. Yeah. I don't have seen I haven't seen one of those though. I got a three. I just want one a little bit bigger. You got a three inch. Yep, I got a three inch. Three it's inch, really three inch and a two and a half inch. And I'll, Can you make a one inch one? Use a three inch and a two inch, three inch, four inch I could use. Yeah, they do make one inch. I've got a one inch. I've got a half an inch. I just I got one and an eighth inch. I'm like, what is that one for? What is I know. One? <laughs> well, I have one and three eighths and, and then one and a half. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Two, one and a half, two, two and a half. But um, okay, guys, I'm changing what we're doing Saturday. I know you. I know I told you we would do that accordion book thing, but I'm I'm going to change that. Um, something that is um, keep all your circle. <laughs> yeah, if you don't use all your circles for these, hang on to your circles. We're going to use the circles on Saturday, and um, you could get some Christmas paper out, some Christmas images. We need to make a Christmas one of these too, Candy. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me get a Christmas. We're make. We're supposed to make a Christmas something out of each thing of each thing that we do. I I had this uh, took this two um, two and a half inch circle, and I'm trying to cut it down to about a two inch. So I'm cutting all four circles together. They are probably not. <laughs> not very round, <laughs> but you know what? They're going to work. That's okay. I wonder if that's thin paper. I wonder if I can score them all at once together. So now it is two and a quarter. So one and an eighth. It's about, let's see if that worked. I'm going to have to get some Christmas paper out. Okay. Um, Hmm. Don't fussy cut a very good circle. That's all I can say. 
Go in us, can you possibly cut me some circles? <laughs> bigger scissors is the key. Yeah, I'm using bigger scissors. I'm using these. And then don't move the paper on that one. You want to move the scissors, not the paper. It's just the opposite from when yeah. you're. Hmm. I just don't. Uh, I don't. I don't cut um, circular. I'll go in too deep, and then I'll stay out too far. <laughs> I just don't do a very good job of uh, making it. Uh, it just ends up with little flat spots and points and. All right. Oh, the circle gets stuck in there. <laughs> Put them all together and try to clean them up a bit together. Because now they're half circles or tacos. Tacos. <laughs> Oh, when we were when we were went to pick up Eric went to a restaurant. It was a it was an Irish restaurant. Uh -huh. They had one of the appetizers was mini tacos, mini fried tacos, tacos in an Irish restaurant. Yeah, were, <laughs> so it was it was an appetizer. So that's, that's funny, wanted, and that's what he wanted to eat. He didn't. Yeah. Oh, it. well. So he got the mini fried tacos. And they're they're pretty good. Wow. <laughs> we ever heard? Of, and I was like you, in a in a. Irish restaurant. Irish restaurant. It was a pretty. It was really good. Yeah. Well, that's cool. It was really good. They had a very wide variety of food. They had Italian, Irish, oh, Mexican, Mexican, and it was everything. Wow. Good. Now I got I got an Italian thing, but yeah, it's good. But mm, they had too much too many peppers in it for me. When I travel, I don't like eating a lot a lot of peppers. Yeah, that upset your stomach. You know, sometimes I'm not all the time, yeah. but sometimes. The only um, bad thing about a place like that that does so many different kinds is you wonder if they really specialize in any of them, and they you know don't. if really they're gonna if, if they're really gonna be good. really good. <laughs> it was very very good. Well, my yeah. sister that was one of her favorite places. Oh wow! Because we we yelped and I was like, why haven't you never told us about it? And she goes, oh, I never thought about it. <laughs> right near the hotel we're at, I said, oh wow. And for us, because we had Eric, we wanted something that had variety for him. Sure. You know, and Rodney wanted seafood, and I don't like seafood, so we had to find something. <laughs> Did they have seafood? Yeah, I mean, they had a little bit. He, nice. Lot, but they have, I can't remember what my husband brought. I'll ask him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's okay. Yeah. We don't care, really. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Mm. Yeah, I love tacos. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. They are good, aren't they? Hey, we're gonna go to a Mexican place. Oh uh, yeah, but they have live music tonight, and I don't like going there when they got it. Live music. Oh, I like it. Gets really, it gets really crowded. Yeah, noisy and noisy. The service is not as good. Yep. I'm not young anymore. I really don't want the live music. You just want this good service and good food. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I bet the food good either. The food's good. We like it because it's close to the house. We don't have to go clear in town. Well, we've got a good Mexican restaurant really close here we can take you to. Yeah. Eric likes tacos. Cool. I like fajitas. Ooh, I do too. Yeah, I would take the fajitas over tacos. I would definitely. I need to order that. Fajitas over tacos. Okay. Well, here's a custom one out of Ephemera from that I'm for a specific book. <laughs> There we go. That looks, nope, I want that one on top. So that one on top. So that one on top. There we go. All right. Perfect. Let me set that over there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only have nine. I'm a little bit behind. Go. 
<laughs> I'm working on two Christmas one now. You told me I had to make. Oh, I'm gonna do Christmas now. You tell me that. I got more than Eric. <laughs> Eric cut out all, most of the circles. Oh, uh, I had him do those ahead of time, ladies, because he has trouble with the punch sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I need yeah, I need some Christmas paper. Why do you guys Why Christmas So for um. For Saturday night, guys, um, keep any circles that you don't use. And we know if you have, if you have two circles that are close in size, like like a two and a quarter and a two and a half, or a two and a half and a three, or you know a three and three and a quarter, whatever it is, ha having two circles of any size. This one is good in any size, but two that are really close together, one that's slightly smaller than the other works really well for Saturday. All right, this paper has been sitting here. It is time to use it. Can you send the live? No. No, you won't be able to watch it, baby. Oh, this is kind of I know, thin but paper. Okay. Like send the to my phone? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Eric's gonna watch it on Saturday. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. 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 You're not, you're not gonna watch it. Don't even don't even play with me. You'll be so busy doing other things. Everybody was making along with us. Um, did you do a Christmas one? We're doing one, at least one Christmas one of everything that we do this month. Why? Hi that Cheryl. One. Cheryl Gopal's here. Laura, I may have to suggest tacos for supper now. Um, I know, Laura. Uh, <laughs> Doug just stuck his head in the, the door, but he's gone now. And I'm thinking, oh, stick your head back in because I'm going to suggest Mexican place for, for dinner. Because <laughs> that did sound good. This paper is a little bit thin. It's scrapbooking paper, not cardstock. And so it got hung up a little bit in the punch. It didn't. It didn't cut super clean. So a heavier paper or a light cardstock is typically what I would prefer. But this was Christmas paper and it was sitting right there. So, or sticking out of the shelf right there. So got to get a Christmas one. And I'm really like using the corner of this scoreboard. I'm not even having to line them up first. Put two together, put it in the corner, square them off. There you go. That's so much easier. Um, but my Christmas paper isn't here yet, Bonnie says. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, your Christmas paper is sitting right here, Bonnie. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Laura, Bonnie, stick a snowflake on top and anything is Christmas, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think um, we missed Toby's birthday. It was a couple of days ago. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Toby. Happy belated. That's right. Hey, Eric, you want to help me sing happy birthday to her? We all can. Okay. <laughs> That's right, Granny. You can sing, too. Uh, Granny don't sing. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Eric. Happy birthday, dear Toby. Oh, happy birthday to me. You abandoned me. I'm just, I'm doing what you do. Remember that concert you put on where you didn't even sing? <laughs> remember, remember that? You had me bowing in. in. I, got, I, got, I got all the stuff to get in there, and you just stood there, didn't you? You didn't even lip sync. <laughs> <laughs> At least lip sync so they think you're singing. <laughs> Eric, you left me hanging out there singing alone. <laughs> no, I sing a little bit. Yeah, I hear it. <laughs> that was all you got. 
Happy yep, birthday. and then it was done. <laughs> to do, happy birthday to do. I like to hear the minions singing happy birthday. I keep seeing the minions on Liberty Mutual commercials. Yeah. Now. <laughs> They're cute on anything. Yeah. I do like minions. Yes. All right, I got two Christmas ones done. Nice. Make you bigger. See them. Oh. <laughs> you gotta make, now you gotta make five Halloween ones. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't want to make Halloween ones. Yeah, I don't have a Halloween. Now you got to make five kids. Give it to us. All right. There's one Christmas one. Yeah, here's mine. Oops. Oh, nice. I like that one. It has the turtle of Santa's head. I know. I did. Yeah. But... That's cute, though. Oh, yeah, I, he'll be decorated and glued down. You won't I like the it. red and white because you can see the pinwheel really well. And yeah. it looks really cool. Yeah, this one. Yeah, don't feel like them, but whatever. Then I have all these. Black, black is always good too. <laughs> oh, yeah. you drop one. Plaid can be Christmas, can it? Yeah, it needs, but it needs some. Oh, maybe I can use some of that. I like one. the metal ones we did, and we did one with craft. Yeah, I love the one, the metal, the metal ones from yeah, that. Metal ones are, not that one. Really good. This one. And the craft ones came out really good. Toby said, "Thank you for singing Happy Birthday." You're welcome, Toby. Because Eric only got one line out, and then he and then he deserted me. Oh, you're the singer. <laughs> Eric can sing. We didn't, we didn't want to ruin it for you, Toby. That's why I didn't sing. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't think so. You'd have, to, you'd have been running for the hills. <laughs> uh, um. Let's see. I might have. You. You would have. You would have. Um, let's see if these will go because they've got stuff on other sides. So if I do plaid and red, plaid and red, the I inside's gonna have two colored and two not. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Doesn't matter. All right. Let's go over to all here. Plaid. Yeah. Plaid for Christmas. Um, one and a quarter. Yeah, what's plaid? Plaid is Santa's Christmas kilt. And why is it called Christmas? <laughs> Eric. It is called plaid. Why is it called plaid? Because it's a type of that's what plaid is. <laughs> because that pattern is plaid. That is what plaid is. <laughs> red plaid and red. Red plaid. Red plaid. I'm doing every other one. Red plaid. Red plaid. You better watch out. Santa Kilt Man is coming. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's hilarious. It isn't straight. There we go. Okay. So next sale is going to be Saturday. Saturday is going to be a big day. Sale from 1 to 5. And then we have Saturday Night Live at 6. All Mountain Time, of course. So... Um, yeah, bring circles or your circle punches and, um, you'll want some solid paper 
for this one. Any color like craft or brown or red or green or any color you like. And then um, maybe some uh, paper with design on it that matches or goes, coordinates with those. And maybe several different punches if you have them or cut out circles that are different sizes. Let's see, maybe I got those down better than I thought. See, now he's singing. Yeah. Now, birthday's over, he's singing. He talks to himself. <laughs> he's playing a game and be talking. I'll be like, who are you talking to? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I talk to myself all the time too, Eric. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a sign of a brilliant mind, Eric. You talk to yourself. All right. Okay. You keep telling him that. You're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Just learn math. And with math and that, you'll be a genius. 10 times 10 is 700. No, it's not. 10 times 10. There's no 7 in there anywhere. Yeah. There's the plaid one. You're so full. Yeah. You're seven. so full of seven poop. 7 and 10 and 10. <laughs> now, now you seven. know that. Eric, stop. Oh, 10 times 7 is 14. No, seven times seven is not fourteen. Seven plus seven. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> no, forty-nine. We're <laughs> way off on that one, there, dude. Oh, this would make a really pretty one. Let me cut a couple of these. Oh, that's the wrong red. Uh, yeah, Laura, I'm the more I sit here, the more I'm thinking tacos for dinner. <laughs> so, taco, 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 stop. Taco. I just sent my um pin flying on the floor, my stainless steel pin, and I have no. Clue. Oh, there it is. Wow, that was lucky. No clue where it went. That was really lucky that it's right there. Oh, and I found two more flatback pearls. <laughs> I'm still finding flatback pearls everywhere. Yeah, the only way to make sure someone's listening is to talk to yourself. <laughs> You've got that down. Well, Laura, it you know, sometimes you just have to talk to the smartest person you know, right? <laughs> but he answers himself. Doesn't that make me crazy? <laughs> no, I do too. I talk it out and answer myself. It just means we're resourceful. We don't sit around and wait for someone else to come along and give us the answers and figure it out. We're just going to jump in. No. no, it's not. I used the wrong pin and it's currently stuck in the top of the clue. I'm going to have to find some pliers. Oh, God, I hate when I do that. <laughs> yeah. I've done um, that. Again. that we're got too thick, you know, you push it in there. Uh-oh, that's uh -huh. the wrong one. It didn't go in. <laughs> well, the thing to be careful of, if it's not stainless steel, the longer it's in there, the more it will start to rust. Oh, and then Eric. when you go to pull it out, the top can the top can break off. And so then the pin is still stuck in there and the top broke off like this little ball breaks off. And then, yeah, then you yeah, got that. that happen, that little ball break off. Too. I thought it was stainless steel and it wasn't the one I used. So, yeah, okay, that is pretty. Which ones? One with music and one with writing. So these two can be polka dots. That would be cool. Oh. This would you, the flat is crooked, so it makes the, the thing look crooked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it 
if you don't cut it on the lines on the plaid yeah on the pattern <laughs> that looks cool Where's yeah the my pet plaid goes cockeyed too but it's okay because it's a pinwheel anyway yeah, too. <laughs> it look really crooked. No, it <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's good on the inside. It don't look so good on the outside. Uh -huh. And guys, don't forget to take one of these and put it into your idea book. Keep one of everything that you make, whether it's mass make or you're just making them, always make one extra to put in your idea book. Linda, pack a big red pom-pom on top of her pin and she still loses it i did have some beads and things dangling from it and it still can get buried on my desk easy enough can you push this down the thing where the tires ready this down it's supposed to go down all the way down yeah down. This is why I don't do transformers, dude. <laughs> uh, you got the wrong person. Because it's not sliding down there like it's supposed to. Oh, I need to do a little one of these so it can it go in that. Right when I thought right. back now, because this is what it's going to look like. Before you try to That was pretty really desired. I need to do a little tiny one that will go it's into this. Yeah, even that one's too big. What okay, let's do that one. Oopsie. Let's see this. What? Yeah, probably not. Really. I can't get it down past that little bump. That's interesting. Still didn't cut that end out. Hmm. Yeah, I do that knit, the knit needle cap, and then I have a pin down through it. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> um, I did, and then I yeah, um, I destroyed the knitting needle cap. Actually, I destroyed the pin, and so my other one, I just put the knitting needle cap on, and I just put the knitting needle cap on this one too. And I opened both of them this morning, and neither of them would come out. Like they were both stuck, so I stuck a pin down this one, and I've got this pin here. I I haven't put it through the knitting needle cap because it's not long enough, so I need to get the other pins out. That I, uh, I made the band for this one. Oh, hang on. Let's see. So it's a little band to go over it. Oh, cute! Yeah, that's put cute. That so all ready to go in the book. Yeah, band and everything. That's very cute. Yeah, making it out of the same paper, then it looks like it's just sitting there. You can't really tell it's even in a band until you pull it out. Let me try to get even. Flats. <laughs> Laura has some glue toppers from mom and I that has not helped me at, uh, <laughs> to lose it. <laughs> I use knitting caps sometimes now if I'm going to be doing a lot of gluing, it'd be faster to put on. Yeah, um, the knitting cap just by itself when I'm just sitting here and I keep putting it on and off, on and off, on and off. But for um, setting it on my on my carousel from day to day, I do like having the pin through the knitting cap. I found. Okay, so here's a teeny tiny one inchy one that can go into this desire book. And let's see, do I want to attach it or do I want to make a little pocket. Um, no, a little belly band. That's what I want to do. Candy said. I, I'll use this branding strip here for a little belly band. Yeah. I do a lot of times. That will work. Do I want to use the polka dot one or the rose one? <laughs> Poppy can't do it either. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> What's he trying to do? He's got a transformer and it's that it slides down. The head slides down. Mm. Transform it. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, yeah, stuck. it's stuck. 
It's got a little bump on it. You got to get it over, and it's just not moving. What else is this way? Okay. So, if I go like that, and I were to glue that on the page, and this would slide in and out. That would work. Okay. So, let's see here. Yeah. Can you get it? Let's glue this together. Did he get it? Did you try Uncle Tyler? Oh. He's really good. He's really good. No. Uncle Tyler's good at him. I know. He was better at, your, at him than your dad. Later. <laughs> okay. Oh, we need to put this back on you. What am I doing? What are you doing, Marianne? Leave me in there? What? <laughs> what were you thinking you're doing? Like watching what you're doing. All right. There's a teeny tiny belly band. I made it out of the branding strip on the paper for this teeny tiny one. And that is going in this little desire book, mini book. Where are we going to put that? Let's see here. That plaid is hard on the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Mine, mine's pretty dark, so it's not. Uh, hmm. Let's see. On the music page, let's put it across from the music page because it has music on it. Okay. Maybe right there. So we're only going to put glue on. I, I, I like it how it looks crooked. It looks way crooked. <laughs> it looks, it looks crooked. crooked, but it's not, right? Ah, uh, but it looks, it looks because of the plaid. Yeah, even this one, I, I even made sure it was squared with the board, you know? And it looks, oh, wait a minute. Why it doesn't look as crooked as the other one, but man, it's, <laughs> it's not working for me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, there's our tiny belly band. Make sure that's glued down nice and tight. I got four Christmas ones. And then this slides in. Perfect. Here we go. One already in a journal. <laughs> Yay. Okay. And, hmm, make another teeny tiny one out of that because I've got another belly band ready to go right there. So, let's see. <clears throat> I should cut this part off right here. Well, maybe it's supposed to do this because every single one that I've done, this little end right here has not cut. Everything cuts except that one little end stays attached. I don't know. Anybody from Stampin' Up? No. It's supposed to do that. It's supposed to stay that way. You just can cut a whole bunch out. They're attached at one end. You can just leave them there and then pull them off when you need them. <laughs> Talk about prepping. Dang. It is quick and easy, though, to do that punch because you don't have to glue the circles together even. Um, only on the 
only on the teeny tiny one, the one inch one. I like gluing the circles together on the other one because I like seeing the pinwheel pattern and you don't get that if you don't, if you don't glue them together. Yeah, they, they look cute in a journal or I use one, I put pictures of Eric inside them. Yeah, that's a cute idea. That is mom loved that. Yeah. She did like it. She did like it. Yes. I don't, uh, Dana says she loves that rose paper you used. I know. That is so pretty, isn't it? I missed that one. I must have been putting my circles together. You did? Yeah. Oh, here, right here. I thought you meant at the sale. No. I thought you had a couple at the sale. Which one was it? Oh, the, the desire one. Um, yeah. yeah, desire yeah, rose pretty, paper. Yeah. Really pretty. Yeah, we did um, the first segment one, the sale that's in there that says segment yeah. one. We did all the, the brand new Stamperia that we just gotten the day before. And um, that was part of that. It's The line is called Desire. And these are the teeny tiny cards. Took the teeny tiny cards and made this teeny tiny book. Here's some of the cards from Desire. It is really pretty. Okay, so there's another one of those ready to go. We worked on his postcard today. Ah! Dragon postcard. Wow. Um, let's see. Up. Laura says these would be cute if you want to tuck a few little stickers or something into a journal. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Dana, yeah, the rose paper. I think there are still a few sheets of that left, Dana. If you wanted to go back and watch segment one and see everything that was in that line, it's the brand new one, you are welcome to. Oh, that's that one you had the discrepancy on. You had more. Yeah. Uh, there, you you only have like four left now, don't you, or something like that? Um, I think, let's see, there are four or six. I think you said four. Um, we'll make an adorable pocket envelope. Yep. My Christmas ones are small, so putting decorations inside. Great idea, Glennis. If you open it up and it's single-sided paper, then you can put the Christmas or put your decorations inside. That'd be cute. Laura, very confused by this idea of preparing stuff and planning ahead of piling up random things that will probably work on my desk. <laughs> you could put a little nouveau drop on the top flap. Oh yeah. That's I was thinking about a little knob up here that look would look like it's a um, you know, a little knob handle, but um it you couldn't put it directly in the center. Um, but you could get it close on one of these. And then you have to make sure you fold it the same way every time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a, a new little drop would be super cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what is yeah, Laura, you just have to make things. I, you know, I keep using paper that I, I'm not using to make these mass makes. And, and I'm thinking that's not a very smart thing to do because then I'm not going to use them in my journals. So um, I'm starting to look at what journals am I working on? Uh, what kind of paper could I use to make whatever we're mass making? So I made one for that journal and one for that um, little book and one for a Christmas one <clears throat> there. And I should probably have pulled out more. And, you know, if you don't have one in mind in particular, you know, you're not in the middle of a zombie book or something, then you just look at what your style typically is. And if your style is typically floral, botanical, you know, butterfly, like that, use that kind of paper because, you know, it'll fit in most everything you do because that's your style. Or if you have um, books coming up that you're going to be doing, then you could pick paper that you know would, would complement and have a stash already built up. So when it comes time to decorate those, you can look in your stash, grab something already made, save a little bit of time. Or put Happy Mail together. Or Happy Mail, yep. People like receiving um, 
ephemera that somebody else has already made, you know, or decorations. Somebody else has already taken the time to make. Oh, dang dog. <laughs> oh. I prefer mm -hmm. making the ephemera versus the journals themselves. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. But I have some really cool fabric, and I've been wanting to just make a bunch of covers and then maybe sell the covers because um, I've got some really awesome fabric. And then I could sell it. Somebody else could make the covers. I've just been wanting to make the covers. So I might do that. And then maybe some matching things to make ephemera that would go with them. Toby says, yes, they like getting ephemera from other people, especially if they're just starting out. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And if we're nice when we send happy mail, if it's somebody new, that doesn't have a lot of this stuff, you can send two and write them a note, stick one in your idea book and use one. That way you've got one that you keep to look at it and remember that this is something you could make. And if you don't know how to make it, you could ask whoever sent it to you or ask us. If we don't know how, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, I think I want to mix and match some. Ooh, I like those. And those are pretty. These are all from the same paper pack, so I know they go together. Maybe I'll use two of those and two of those. And those, and then I will mix these two, two of those, two of those. Why is the um, why is the YouTube one a little delayed? Okay, later. Okay, I like that idea, Marianne. What's that? Mix and matching the two, the two. Yeah. Sending two happen when you send two, send two of the items. Oh yeah. Oh the journal. Oh the Patreon journal. We got. We're gonna get back to that. Are we ever going to revisit the journal to start putting stuff in it? Um, not the Patreon journal, but the the yeah, yeah, idea yeah. book. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we made a full journal. Um, we did it in what like three weeks? No, two weeks. We made the whole journal. Got the signatures in and then we didn't have i was gone the week that we would have decorated it so do we want to have another a monday where we gather together all the mass makes we've done and we decorate it you know and start filling it in and some of the things that maybe you don't have we can show you how to do or um add a couple of other things yeah i'm okay with that because I've got mine all gathered together, but I haven't put it in the book yet. So I do need to do that. Have you um, done yours, Candy? Have you? No, I didn't do that. Oh, that's I right. Yeah. Should. I was reading all the comments. Of that. Sandra, yeah. Sandy was the one that was doing that with you. Sandy Rath was doing that one. Yeah. I'll have to check with Sandy and see if she um, got hers decorated. And I've got two. I've got the one that I did on the live, and then I've got the one that I did recording the tutorials. So. Do you make tutorials? Yeah. I do. She likes to tell people what to do. <laughs> what to do and how to do. <laughs> like, do your math, buddy. <laughs> That's funny. Eat your vegetables and do your math. You'll thank me later. <laughs> I don't like vegetables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, listen to me later. <laughs> carrots and corn. Carrots, and corn. carrots and corn are great. I like carrots and corn. On the cob. Do you like salad? 
No. No. Huh? Oh, oh, I forgot whose grandchild you are. <laughs> hey, my. Do you like tomatoes? My one son loves salad. Yeah, I like <laughs> salad. Not really bad though. Tomatoes. <laughs> you like I tomatoes? Like, I like. Oh, I, I don't like tomatoes. Yeah, you don't like tomatoes? tomatoes. Hmm. I like potatoes. You like potatoes? Uh, mashed potatoes. He don't mashed like fried potatoes. potatoes. He don't. Oh, I French like fries. French he fries. likes French fries, but he doesn't like fried potatoes. You, now you explain that one to me, ladies. Okay. Yeah. What about like a baked potato that you could pile all kinds of stuff on it, like cheese and sour yeah. cream? And... Is it mashed? And if you mash it for him, it's not the same. Uh, yeah, no, it's not like a baked potato. <laughs> Hmm. Do you like sweet potatoes? No, I've never had. Them. I don't think he's had those. Hmm. I've never had them when he's here. Do you so like sweet potatoes? We, have you, Eric? So we had um one of the guys lives down in southern Louisiana, and he comes up to hunt with Rodney, and he uh -huh. brought up their frozen sweet potato cakes. Oh wow! So it's like your, it's like your. They're already ready to go. They're just little. Wow. Never heard of them. Water on them when they come out. Oh my God. They're all. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, do you have Texas Roadhouse there? Yeah. I love Texas Roadhouse. Okay. They, and they do sweet potatoes. Yeah. Um, and they always have them with like brown sugar and um, I don't know, whatever on them. I don't like them that way. I just like them with butter and salt and pepper. Oh, I like some cinnamon, a little brown sugar on them. Mm. Or that honey butter. Yeah. Oh, honey butter. <laughs> honey butter is good on anything. <laughs> I don't like it on my bread. Uh, really? No. Don't. <laughs> I hate going to Texas Roadhouse because I love the rolls. I could just eat yeah, I love the rolls and then bring my dinner home for the next day because I'm so full. <laughs> I just love the rolls <laughs> and the, the honey butter. <laughs> yeah. There's wait. There's wait, is a there's is a brown sugar butter, isn't it? Uh, I think it's a honey butter. I don't know. I think there's a brown sugar. I think there's maybe brown sugar. maybe down there they do a brown sugar butter. Yeah, I think that would be different. Right. That's you know, why really. I put it on the on the sweet potato. Ah, uh, yeah, I believe here it's a honey butter. It is good. Every one of us is weird in our own way. You know what? That's true. That's very true. And that's why we like everybody in this group because everybody's weird in their own way. And it's not weird because it's just you, you know, and it's okay because everybody's entitled to be different. Yeah. And what I think is weird, you might not. What you think is weird, I might not. And usually it's just because we grew up with something different and we know different things. Sometimes we've just never heard of or seen something. That's all. But it's all good. I've never seen. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> have you ever had frog legs? I've never seen a real shark, but I might have. Oh, frog legs. Legs. I don't know. He's probably not had frog legs. I doubt. Frog legs? Yeah. You, you know, had frog legs? Ew. Yeah, because we don't. It's we don't weird, weird, doesn't it? Out, so, and he does. It's, they don't do it up there either. It's oh, weird, I want frog legs. If you had them, they might be really, really good. They taste like, actually, they taste like chicken legs. <laughs> so, I've never had chicken legs. So you are so full of crap. If you I've like chicken. chicken nuggets. Uh, uh, I've had chicken nuggets. You've had chicken strips. Uh, you've had chicken, had, you've had like chicken. chicken strips. Have you had chicken wings or chicken drummies? Chicken you have. Chicken I know you have. Funny. <laughs> Funny, funny, funny kid. Oh, sweet potato fries, Cheryl. I love sweet potato fries. Oh, I don't. I like sweet potato. I do not like sweet potato fries. It is really, really difficult to get sweet potato fries right. And I, there are very, very few restaurants that have good sweet potato fries. And that's because they are, they are so moist. The sweet potatoes are so moist that it is really hard to get them cooked just right. And if they if they cook them extra crispy, then they end up burned because they are easily burnable. So it's really difficult to do. Um, we have a restaurant called Rumby. Do you have Rumby? No. No, I've never heard um, of it. Do incredible sweet potato fries. Um, there's a couple other places, but 
it's usually very random. I'll try them once to see, but yeah, there's very few places that do sweet potato fries right, but because they're hard, they're hard to do. I haven't tried them at home though, in the air fryer. That's what I need to do is try sweet potato fries in the air fryer. Okay. Um, yeah, and so you might not like, you might, well, you might not know about sweet potatoes, but make them into French fries, dip them in ketchup, or I like to dip them in fry sauce. That's my favorite. Spicy? Um, let's see, what was... Oh, I like that seed. What was it called? Let's see. Hang on. Catch up on comments here. What was that cheese called? Fried cheese? Uh, Laura, happy to not <laughs> I practiced stuff I made ahead of time, and 99% of the time it doesn't quite fit anymore, so I gave up on that unless I'm cleaning my desk. <laughs> well, you could always use it of stuff um, just to make, use the scraps to make journal cards and, and things like that, so you don't, you know, have to wait. Um, let's see. Uh, so especially people that are just, yeah, we do have a lot of weird people here, especially people that are just starting out. Oh, no, that's not weird people. <laughs> oh, sending a happy mail to people that don't have a lot of supplies that are just starting out. Um, I'm starting Laura, out. Be quiet. And I don't have a lot of supplies. You no. have all of you. <laughs> mm. I, Laura says she does a lot of folders of stuff, but it doesn't actually make a thing. Till she has the journal in front of her. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I tend to gather all the stuff and put it into um, one of those iris containers until I'm sitting down to do the journal. Um, I try that, but I'm never that organized. <laughs> and then I never get to those. Okay, so Linda, your book is done. I think all our books are done. We just haven't put anything in in, in a minute. So yeah, let's decorate it. Um, everybody except Glennis. Glennis already finished hers and decorated. Oh no, that one, Glennis, that was the Patreon one. Glennis posted um, her a zombie book. And that was one that she did along with um, Patreon. Uh, uh, weird but fun. Also weird. <laughs> yes, we are weird but fun, Eric. <laughs> and you are also weird but fun. We yeah, like you. He was like, he had enough of us ladies. He left. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think he had to go into the little boys' room. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Bored. Bored with all the old ladies. Yeah, he is. Don't blame him. That's totally okay. We are approaching quitting time anyway. Yeah. So, okay, so don't forget to, as soon as we end, come back into this video and to any other video um, on our channel and leave a comment and uh, at the end of the comment, put hashtag 1000 subs, 1000 SUBS, because we are approaching, we're getting closer to 700. We're going to, I just, I see, I think um, we're going to go along, go along. And all of a sudden we're just going to have a big jump and we're going to hit a thousand. And if you didn't uh, make all the comments and get your entries in there, then it's going to be too late. So as soon as we hit a thousand, we're going to draw and give away a huge box of crafty goodness. So make sure you've got those comments in there because that's uh, who will be in the drawing is everybody who comments hashtag 1000 subs in their comment anywhere. And you can do it on any and all videos that are on Happy Paper People channel. Um, See, so this is Thursday. So our next get together will be Saturday afternoon, 12 noon Pacific, one mountain, two central, three Eastern. And that will be segment four of the sale. And I have gotten to where I can get out or two. Um, and uh, different things like that. So I'll probably pull that out like we did the other day where we'll go back and forth from different things so that we're not sitting on any one thing um, for a very long time. So we can jump around and, and have things for everybody. So that will be Saturday one to five. We'll take a quick break so I can get everything off of my desk. And at six o'clock, we will reconvene with Saturday Night Live and bring circle punches and bring paper 
and um, bring several sizes of circle punches and we're gonna have some fun. Bring something Christmas. Um, I already made one Christmas and it's super cute. So um, bring something Christmas to make because we're trying to make one of everything we do. We're trying to make one Christmas this month. Then August, we'll be done with that. And then October, everybody starts heavy on making their Christmas stuff anyway, right? So other than that, did I forget anything, Candy? I think so. Well, so we'll see you Saturday afternoon and then we'll see you Saturday night. Um, yeah, don't forget. I'm a little behind on comments on YouTube. So um, don't forget to come back in and, and um, leave a comment. Get yourself into the drawing. You can get yourself in the drawing as many times as you leave a comment. And if you read any of the comments as you go through, you'll notice that Glennis is getting in there. So make sure you get some comments in unless you guys just want to give it to Glennis. And I just think that that's given up. So give her a little competition. Cheryl won't be there Saturday. Her, her husband's 88th birthday. So oh, wow. Awesome. Congratulations. Will you enjoy that? You can rewatch later if you want. All right. So here's a bunch of my math make today. One of them's already in the book. Other than that, a nice little variety. I've still got a bunch of circles, so I'll probably make a few more um, sitting here. So thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. It was a lot of fun. Hope you got a few um, a few pinwheel. We'll call them pinwheel pockets. I'm going to change the name on it. We pinwheel. got a bunch. Oh, you got a whole bunch. Now you need to make a journal. Find one to put in your book that you're working on. One out of um, uh, not dinosaurs. Dragons. <laughs> Dragons, yeah. Uh, oh, cool. That'll go in with dragons. <laughs> All right, guys. Don't forget to post your pictures in the group so we can see your pinwheel pockets as well. Love y'all, and we will see you Saturday afternoon. Thanks so much, guys.